and uh, he has flown in from Texas to come on up here and uh, be a part of this baby dedication. So we want to welcome the Pattersons to come on up here with us this morning. And can we welcome them here today? Ryan and Chelsea. Awesome to have them with us. And it's awesome to be able to share this time with them to dedicate their new little boy unto the Lord. And it's a great honor and privilege to be a part of that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you guys, there's great opportunities you sometimes miss. We're going to have to have, like, the next special business meeting, we're going to have a segment for times you should or maybe should not say something in church. So we're learning, right? We're growing together. Amen. Well, this morning, I, I am happy to share in the privilege of dedicating this little boy unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Every child is a gift from God. Say yes, even mine. Uh, everyone is. Amen. And uh, today, Brian and Chelsea are here because they recognize that they have been blessed with a beautiful little boy. Do we have a picture for the screen? I believe we do. He'll get up there soon, I'm sure. And they wanted to share this special time with you here at Women's Assembly of God. And I know that there's a lot of connections here. And so it's just a wonderful time to be together. So as Brian and Chelsea understand together that this is a beautiful moment, a beautiful gift of a child that's been given unto them, they want to ask God for his blessing and his touch on their little boy and that they would recognize him as a gift and return unto God. And say, God, we just pray that you would bless and use this little boy for your glory and for your honor. So let me just say a few words to you two today as we get started. The family is a divine institution ordained of God from the beginning of time. And the children of the family are a heritage of the Lord. And in fact, the scriptures tell us that they are a true gift of God. Henceforth, children are committed to the parents by God for their care, protection, training in the Lord and for his glory. Thus, it's intended that uh, by God that all parents would recognize this obligation and their responsibility to God and that they would raise their children in the ways of righteousness and godliness, then fulfilling what the word instructs us to do when it says to train up a child in the way he should go, because when he is old, he will not depart from it. So then baby dedication is actually a recognition of the gift that God has given to you in the form of a baby, as well as the commitment that you make as Keegan's parents to dedicate your lives to raise him in the ways of Jesus Christ. Now, as Brian and Chelsea fully understand this and they take this stand before you, the body, today, they embrace this responsibility and they make this commitment, not just to their son, but most importantly, unto God. So let me charge you as mom and dad. Will you, Brian and Chelsea, in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses, solemnly commit yourselves to raise Keegan David in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord. If so, please say we will. In doing so, will you teach Keegan to love the Lord with all of his heart, soul, mind, and strength, as well as to love his neighbor as himself? If so, please say we will. Will you commit yourselves to teach Keegan the word of God so that he will understand it to be a lamp unto his feet a light unto his path, healing to his body, and wisdom for understanding. Will you fashion your own lives to live according to the word of God, so as to serve as a faithful and consistent, godly example to Keegan? And will you commit yourselves to seek at an early age to lead Keegan into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, followed by leading him on a path of discipleship? Amen. Well, church, I want to ask you, as we always do, to stand at this point and just to charge you to pray for this family. And I know that many, many of you have great connections. And even though they're coming from Texas, we're very familiar with them as a family. And so we want to say that we're going to stand with you in prayer. And so, church, will you commit to being good examples as Keegan would grow up, as you see here, here from time to time, running through the halls, being in classes? Would you support him, his family? With prayer and being a good example, and so please say, I will. I will. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. Something I often like to do when we have baby dedications is look at the name of the baby and see what that name means and try to pull out, if you will, a blessing from that name. And so I've tried to do that here today. And as we bring little Keegan to the Lord this morning, 
I want to let you know that he was born very early in the morning, 4.17 a.m. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it was a blessed time, I'm sure. He was born on October 2nd of this year in Houston, Texas. He weighed 6 pounds, 15 ounces, and he was 19 inches long. Something else that we want to highlight, which is rather obvious, is his name, Keegan David Patterson. As we're reminded of his name, we know it was picked specifically by his parents for many different reasons, I'm certain. But knowing that we learn from the Bible, the, the Bible shows us many times the meaning of the name is important and valuable to the personality and who this little one would grow up to be. It often would speak of their character or their future. And so I wanted to kind of look at his name first, his first name, Keegan. It means fiery or descendant of the fiery one. Did you know that? <laughs> And the middle name is David, and David means beloved. As I prayed on what would we talk about, what would we think about here with reference to Keegan this morning, I thought of John, the beloved disciple of Jesus. At one time, John was half of a tag team known as the Sons of Thunder. He shared it with his brother James. And in Mark 3, Jesus referred to him as such because they were very zealous and fervent for the Lord. And what's notice, notable at this point is that as time went by and they grew in the Lord, their zeal and their great passion for the Lord was tempered by God's love. And God had transformed him. And John goes on to write some books in the New Testament, and we see that many times his fervency and his zeal for God still spills out. But yet we hear this tremendous underlying thought of the love of God in his life. And I couldn't help but think of 1 John. And throughout that book, there are many, many references to God's love. If we could have a life verse, if you will, 1 John 4, 7 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. And may the love of Jesus Christ shine through this fiery young man and make a difference for the world, for Jesus Christ. May Jesus shine through him, and that's my prayer, is that he would be known as a beloved disciple of Jesus, but have great passion and power of God in his life. So we're going to pray over him in just a moment here, and as we do, I want to pray that God will do even what we heard over Jesus in Isaiah chapter 11, when it says, May the Spirit of the Lord rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and strength, the Spirit of knowledge, and the fear of God. So may I hold your little boy for just a moment. I took your instructions well, and I'll be careful. <laughs> they don't trust me. I said, look at my son. He only twitches a little bit. He's fine. My daughter, they survived. Here's this precious little boy, and he's checking out the lights up above. And he's not crying, so I'm not half bad, right? <laughs> Can we pray? Would you raise your hand forward as we pray over Keegan today? Father, I thank you for this little boy that I hold in my hands. God, what a gift and a privilege, Lord, it is to have him here in our lives. And I know this family acknowledges that. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you would bless him. Lord, we ask that you would let your hand rest over his life. God, that you would hover over him by your spirit and your presence, I pray in Jesus' name. As he grows up, God, may he continue to acknowledge and know you. And Lord, I pray that you would shine through his life. And Lord, I pray right now as we would dedicate him unto you, Lord, I do so at the request of his mom and dad. And Lord, for your glory and honor, and I now dedicate him in the name of Jesus forever and ever. Amen. How do we do, buddy? not too bad. You lost your binky, though, and that's not so good. It's behind you. I don't know why. They have a way of ricocheting. Are you okay? Awesome. Let's pray for this couple. Can we do that? Could you guys come forward here for just a moment? Right up here into the center so I can get behind you, along with the family. Let's pray over them. Lord, I know that this is not just a dedication of a little baby, but God, this is a dedication of a mom and dad. And God, they're new parents, but Lord, I know that you've invested in them your love and your power. 
And God, I pray that it would be imparted from them unto their child and children in the future. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would be with this couple, strengthen them. I pray, God, that you give them wisdom and understanding as to how to raise Keegan. And Lord, the ways in which to direct him. And God, I pray in the days ahead that they would find that your grace is more than enough to lead them through. So bless them as mom and dad today and empower them with your wisdom and power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. You're welcome. We do have a gift for you. And uh, would you take a moment? I'm assuming this is your mom and dad that are with us today. Or who is close to you? Great grandparents. My apologies. Help us out. Your mom and dad. Excellent. Do they have names? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at here. Gail and Dodie. Sir Mel, welcome. It is so good to have you with us today. Sorry, we're having parties for this. <laughs> Amen. We do have some gifts for you today. We obviously have a certificate that we want to share with you uh, just to remember this day. Also in there is a letter to you, but more importantly, I wrote a letter to Keegan that I would hope that someday when he's 13 years old, you can remind him of this special occasion. And if he hasn't already received Jesus Christ, you can remind him of this special moment and say, hey, we want to just tell you about the Lord and ask you to invite him into your life if you haven't already. So awesome stuff. And just some flowers there uh, to be reminded, symbolic of the dad, the mom, and this little budding rose of this new little life you have. And he's had enough of being up here. Can we welcome them uh, off the platform today? God bless you so much for moving back to the Thanks for letting us be a part of this with you. Kevin wanted to make you aware that his good looks come from somewhere in the family. He wasn't going to say exactly something. Yeah. 